Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite product swaps that are not only environmentally friendly, but are also gonna save you tons of money. These are products that I actually use in my day-to-day -day life. Let's dive right in at the top of the list. Let me introduce you to my favorite toilet paper. I love this stuff so much that I will pack it with me and take it with me on vacation if I can. So this is Who Gives a Crap Toilet Paper. And besides having the best name ever, they create recycled toilet paper. So this is actually the bamboo. I haven't personally tried the recycled toilet paper yet, but we love the bamboo. We've been using it for nearly a year now. It comes in this adorable packaging which looks really cute sitting out in your bathroom and it's quite soft. It's very very strong. It's not the same like if you're used to like a fluffy kind of a toilet paper like a Charmin or a Scott. It may take a little bit of time to get used to but I actually prefer this now to Charmin which is what we used to use and I like it a lot more than having like fluff everywhere all over the bathroom. They have really amazing customer service as well which I find so important in a small company. So when we moved here to New York I forgot to change my shipment and so a box got shipped to Texas to our <laughs> new uh, the new homeowner and oops so that was a gift for them um, but very quickly they got a box shipped out to us here in New York and since we live in a small smaller space now. We actually get uh, smaller boxes more frequently than we did before and that has been working out super great. They are doing tons of good for the environment and for the community. They donate 50% of the profits to help build toilets and increase sanitation efforts around the world. So far they have donated over 10 million Australian dollars to the efforts which is just incredible. So let's talk price. So 30 mega rolls of Charm in, it costs $30. That's 264 sheets per roll, a total of 7,920 sheets, which comes out to 0.00378 cents per sheet, a fraction, a fraction of a cent per, per sheet. Um, for who gives a crap, that is, it comes at 48 rolls of the bamboo for $52 with 370 sheets per roll. That's 17,760 sheets of toilet paper, which comes out to 0 0.00293 cents Per sheet. So it's kind of hard to think <laughs> in terms of fractions of pennies because I'm literally calculating like per sheet of toilet paper, but it comes out to almost a one hundredth of a cent. Is that what it is? Like per sheet cheaper. I should have done per roll. Now I see my mistake here, but it is cheaper overall and I love this stuff. It's so convenient. It comes straight to your door so you don't even have to like you know, bring the toilet paper home from the grocery store, which is hard enough when you have a car, but especially when you live somewhere like New York City and you don't have a car, you don't want to be hauling a Costco size toilet paper uh, package home with you. They currently have a coupon for $10 off your first subscription order. I will leave a link in the description box down below. Next up in our personal care category is Dossier. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting out all of the expenses and infamous brand tax. I am a huge perfume person. I wear perfume every single day. I usually find my scent and then I stick to it for years. So for a really long time I was wearing Vera Wang Princess and then two years ago I switched over to Flower Bomb and I love wearing perfume but it can be very expensive plus I have no idea what it is in the perfumes to make up all of those different scents. What is so cool about Dossier is that their fragrances are recreations of all of the popular high-end scents. So you can shop by scent or by looking for your favorite brand. Okay, so here I have the Aquatic Coconut, which is a recreation of the Maison Margiela. 
I, I, it's French, hard for me to say, but the scent is <laughs> Beach Walk. And then I have the Floral Honeysuckle, which is a recreation of Gucci's Bloom. Now, the price comparison is pretty incredible. So here we have the Beach Walk recreation. Beach Walk re retails for $172 for one ounce, and this one is 1.7 ounces and is just $29. And then Gucci's Bloom retails for $108 for 1.6 ounces. This is just a little more, 1.7 ounces, and it again is just $29. So I love Dossier's uh, like philosophy here on scents. I'm just going to read it straight from the website because it's so great. Perfumes are personal, which is why we allow you to try out the full-size bottle. If you don't love it, ship it back to us for a refund. Returns are donated to charity, so no bottle of perfume ever goes to waste. And that makes Dossier completely risk-free to try. Next on my list is the Gourmand White Flowers because it's a recreation of my favorite flower bomb, but they have all of the most popular scents. They've got dupes of Chanel Number no. 5, Miss Dior, Clinique, Clinique, Happy, Chloe, and they also have Sins for Men too, YSL, Armani, Versace, Tom Ford, and so much more. You get an even better discount when you buy multiples and any orders of three or more is free shipping. I've got a discount code just for my subscribers. Just use the link down in the description box and enter this and that 10 at checkout. Check out Dossier below and see if they have your favorite scent at a fraction of the cost. Next up is a product I've been using for so long, I got it while they were on Kickstarter. This is the Last Swab. So I know people kind of debate whether you should use cotton swabs to clean out your ears or whatever, but I need to because my ears are waxy. And then I also use cotton swabs to like clean up my makeup when I put on mascara because I'm just a little bit messy like that. So Last Swab offers three different types of swabs. The basic, which is barbed for cleaning ears. The beauty which is smoother and perfect for more delicate things like removing makeup and then the baby one which I don't have because of course I don't have a baby so you just use these like you would a regular cotton swab they come in like their own little case which makes them great uh, when, once you use them I just put it in here to like for safekeeping so literally it looks like this this is the ear one you just use it like you would regularly and then i just rinse mine with hot water every single day so i'm the only one who uses this one you don't want to share with family members i think that would be a little bit gross so yeah i just rinse it with hot water and then i put it back in the case and every once in a while i do get some um soap on there but again we are not sharing them. And then I have a different color for my beauty one that just kind of helps me grab the right one off the shelf when I need it. They've got all kinds of colors so you can get a different one for every family member. You could even like put their name on it so they know whose who's is whose. It's got two different tips. It's got like a pointier one and then more of a rounded one. So it does take a little bit of getting used to because they're rubberized and so you don't wanna like pull your skin too much. So I will actually wet this and then kind of use it to gently get the makeup off around my face. Again, just be careful not to pull your skin. They do take a little getting used to. So now I prefer using these to regular cotton swabs. In fact, we don't even own any, not a single one. So one swab costs you $12 and it says it will replace 1,000 cotton swabs. So that's gonna be our parameter for comparison. So if you use one swab per day, which I feel like I probably use more like three or four when I was using cotton ones, you know, like two for the eat, one for each ear, and then like one for my makeup, but we're just gonna use the one per day. Um, so basically one a day, 1,000 swabs would last you for about three years, roughly. So 1,000 Q-tips, because we're doing Q-tip brand, 1,000 Q-tips for $12.99, um, which is very similar to the cost of one cotton, one of these, <laughs> which is $12. It's very, very similar, um, but again, I feel like, you know, I feel like I use more than that per day. So depending on how many Q-tips you use, you really could save money by using this. Plus, I'm hoping this lasts me for more than just one year or three years. I've been using mine for 
I don't know, at least two or three or four years. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I got it on Kickstarter. Now they've expanded their whole brand. They have um, not just last swab, but they have last tissue. They have last cotton rounds, which are reusable cotton rounds. They have laundry bags. They have masks, you name it. So go check them out. They're a wonderful brand. And I will put the link in the description box below. Here is the last personal care item before we move on to some cleaning stuff. I get asked about this one all the time and I could literally scream from the rooftops because I love it that much. This is the Jovi patch and I <laughs> actually have to take mine off because I am wearing it right now. So this is the Jovi pain patch. It's like this little circle thing. It's marketed towards women for period cramps, but it really can be used for any types of pain anywhere on the body. So the way that it works, it's completely non-invasive, you just rest it against the skin, um, is it basically interrupts messages from your body to your brain that says like, hey, I'm in pain. Kind of sounds like BS, and I don't really care if it is because it works. <laughs> like it actually works. So I have been using this, I'll put it back on, I've been using this for, um, this is, I guess four periods now. So let's talk about before I started using the Jovi patch. I was taking two ibuprofen every four hours for five, six, seven days during my period. So probably I was taking medicine four to five times a day. That's how much pain I was in. Luckily, I'm not, I wasn't somebody who was in excruciating pain, um, but it was quite painful. And then I got the Jovi patch. It took me a little bit of time to learn how to use it. But once I started using it, I haven't had to take a single pill during any of my periods. I do have a couple of tips for you that I have learned while using Jovi. So what you're trying to find is your not so sweet spot. That's what they call it. Basically, it's the center of your pain. I felt like more of my pain was coming from my back with my cramps, but I actually learned that it was coming from my the front of me, my stomach. Um, so I typically will place mine on the left side, but I found that I can do right and left, which is important. <laughs> a point that I'm about to bring to it, bring up to your attention in just a second. But um, it does come with like reuse, not reusable. It comes with like sticky thing adhesives. I've never even opened mine. I still have them in case I need to use it. But I just basically tuck it in um, underneath my like the band of my underwear and then like my shorts or pants, whatever I'm wearing, and it will pretty much stay in place. Okay, here's the downside. It might just be me, but just keep an eye out for this. <laughs> because Jovi is made of sort of like a plasticky material, if you get hot at all, um, you know, walking outside on a summer day or whatever, obviously you're going to sweat. And then in between Jovi and in your skin, you get sweat, it creates bacteria, and it stinks. <laughs> also, if you leave it in place for too long and you're hot, and sweaty you can get a rash as I learned the very first time that I wore it and I had a beautiful circular like red little dots all over me I've learned how to prevent that now so now I switch it between my left and right side pretty much like every time I go to the bathroom because I'm having to take it off so it doesn't fall down the toilet <laughs> so I will just switch sides that's completely um, prevented the rash anytime that you do get hot and sweaty try to take it off and like wipe it on your clothes or, or wipe it off that really helps and then it still gets smelly like again I don't know if that's just me but you know bacteria stinks so um, you can wash it with a mild soap and a little bit of water so I just take a cloth I wipe it off and then I get the cloth wet and I wipe it off dry it and then I let it air out for a little bit um, in between periods I'm always leaving it out to dry and it doesn't it doesn't stink after that okay so cost wise this one is not exactly going to save you money it's more about um, making a, an impact on your own body so listen to these calculations that I did um, okay so let's look at the cost per period for one year. One bottle of generic ibuprofen is about $9 for 500 pills. If I was taking 12 per day, because I was taking two every four hours. Um, okay, wait, that's probably not right. I probably wasn't taking 12, but let's just say that I was. <laughs> probably more like 10. Okay, 12 per day for six days. That's 72 pills per period or 864 ibuprofen per year and so that means I'm going to need two bottles so let's just say $18 per year from all my 
all my ibuprofen. Um, and the Joby patch is $169. I know it is an investment, but it lasts up to four years. So let's divide that by four and you get $42.25 a year. So maybe it's not as cost effective or going to save you money, but when I looked at how many pills I was taking every period, I was absolutely floored and I would way rather have this than have to take all of those pills. All right, let's move on to a couple of cleaning items. So one of the questions I get all the time is what do you use your different colored cleaning cloths for? So I have to brag on us a little bit. We have not had to buy paper towels in over a year. And when we moved to New York almost five months ago, we brought a half roll of paper towels with us and we're still not out of it. <laughs> so what the heck do we use if we're not using paper towels? So to clean, we use microfiber cloths. Cloths. I cannot stand the feeling of using a paper towel and it's just like disintegrating on you, but it does take some getting used to to use cloths. You need a system. So I purchased a tricolor pack off of Amazon. I promise there are three colors that come in the pack, <laughs> but all of my yellow ones are dirty because we have been using them. So I got two of the 24 packs, but now they actually have a 48 pack. Um, and they also have another color set that I think is like green and pink and gray. So up to you what you want to use. So we use each of these in a different area of the house to keep like the dirty is stuff separate. So first up are the blue cloths. These are the ones that I use mostly in the kitchen. I will also use them for other like surface messes around the house that are not super dirty if I'm wiping down the coffee table or something like that. The yellow cloths are for the bathroom and the bathroom only. Yellow and blue cloths never mix. They do not get washed together. They do not go in the dirty clothes together. They are kept completely separate. I use two yellow cloths every single day to clean the bathroom sometimes three and then if there's anything like really gross that I'm cleaning like the floor or something like that I will also use a yellow cloth for that lastly is the white towels I actually use these for myself for my body so I keep one in the shower I use it that day and then I get a new one every single day because I have a ton um, what I will do is after I'm done using it I will hang it over the shower curtain so that it can mostly dry out so I'm not putting a sopping wet towel in the laundry. So in summary, blue for the kitchen, yellow for the bathroom, and white for the body. So let's talk about washing all of these towels. Like I said, you kind of have to have a system or things will get mixed up or you'll run out of towels. So for convenience, I keep a pile of clean towels exactly where I need them. So I've got some under the kitchen sink. I've got some in a small trash can all folded neatly near the bathroom and everything like that. And then I also have another small two gallon trash can to collect the dirty ones. All of them are separate so that they don't get mixed up and I don't have to have like dirty bathroom towels hanging out with my clothes or anything. So the blue towels I will wash with our dish towels and cloth napkins whenever the basket gets full. This is typically about once a week, but I keep an eye on them so that I don't run out. The yellow ones, since they are dirtier, I make sure to wash them on the sanitize cycle. This one's just a little bit hotter than hot, which is what I use for our other towels, bath towels, and kitchen towels. And it makes me feel like those are getting really, really clean. You might also sometimes see me use some white towels to clean with, but they are not the same as the body towels. Before I had the tricolor towels, I had a just a pack of white towels, um, and they are square shaped, so I know to keep them different or separated from these, which are rectangular. And then the white ones, since I use them as a bath towel, I wash them with all the towels about once a week. Oh, and whenever I empty out the bins where the dirty towels are kept, I spray Lysol on there just to make sure nothing gets too germy. And sometimes a tiny bit of like mildew will collect, so I make sure to wipe that out. When you're putting something that has moisture on it and it sits for a little bit, that's bound to happen. So just keep up on it and it won't get too bad. All right, so let's talk cost. Let's say you're going through a roll of paper towels per week. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. You know, you might use them to clean, dry your hands, as napkins, whatever. So you get the bounty ones from Costco because you can save some money by buying in bulk. So $26 for 12 rolls, which brings your cost to $2.17 per roll or $2.17 per week. 
So for a whole year, you're looking about at about $112 in paper towels. And you know, maybe you use more, maybe you use less. This is just a, a rough estimate. I bought my tricolor uh, pack of cloths in April of 2020, right when I started this in Nat actually, and I paid $28 for 48 towels. Since then, I haven't spent another dime on paper towels or any cloths at all, and hopefully these last me for many years to come with the right care. I'll leave the link to the 24 pack down below. It's just $13, or you can go ahead and grab 48. Give them a try. I promise once you start using cloths to clean, you will never go back. Last thing is my go-to cleaning solution, Branch Basics. I use this for everything. It's my all-purpose cleaner. It's my bathroom cleaner. It's even my laundry soap. It does everything. So Branch Basics is a cleaning concentrate, which you mix with water in one of the spray bottles, and then that's your cleaning solution. So it works a little bit differently. Um, you spray it onto the surface, and then you leave it for one to four minutes before wiping it clean. Sometimes I use a dry cloth, and sometimes I use a damp cloth. Branch Basics is a soap solution, so it works in a similar way to washing your hands. You put the solution on top of the surface, Surface, it removes the germs and then you wash them away. So it's not a sanitizer where it kills germs on contact. So I do use Lysol and bleach when necessary. All right, so how do you use it? So first you fill a spray bottle to the line with water and then you fill with concentrate to the second line then you top it off with water, very important. Don't forget this step. I did this when I first got Branch Basics. You close the bottle and then you gently shake. Now it has kind of like a mild soapy scent. It really, it doesn't have any real fragrance, but if you wanted to add some, I think that that would be perfectly fine to do. So I started out just by using the all-purpose cleaner in the kitchen for the countertops. And then I realized that I really liked that. So I started using the bathroom spray, which is a little more concentrated. And then most recently, I started using the laundry soap. I had never tried that before. But now we have a, <laughs> look at this dog. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> so now we have a really small washer and dryer. And so I was using the pods. I've actually used washer pods, not from Branch Basics. They don't make them, but I've used those my entire adult life to wash clothes and it's never been a problem but because our washer is so small the pods were dispensing way too much solution and our clothes are really starting to smell so i switched over to using the branch basics liquid and one bottle that i have right here one bottle is 64 loads of laundry but for us because we don't even need a full cap full it can get us a whole lot more they also have this oxygen boost which if you get one of the starter kits i'd highly recommend that's how i started out you will get the oxygen boost i put this in our laundry when it's kind of starting to stink but it's a great stain remover we had a stain on our carpet in our old house that had been there for a really long time and so before before we started um, having open houses, I tried, you know, I thought, why not try this? I'd already tried. We had like a one of those carpet washer thingies, and I had already tried that, nothing. Um, so I tried the Oxy Oxy Boost, Oxygen Boost, and it completely got the stain out all the way out. All right, so let's talk cost. The premium starter kit, which has that oxygen boost in it, you also get the concentrate plus an all-purpose bottle, bathroom bottle, streak-free bottle, foaming wash pump, a laundry bottle, and then the oxygen stain boost remover, all for $69. Now, if you're not ready to try the starter kit yet, you can do what I did, which was, which was get like the, what's it called, like a trial kit, and you get a little tiny bottle of the concentrate plus one all-purpose bottle for five dollars just to see if you like it i just got a new <laughs> shipment in i like literally just opened this out of the box because since i had to make up a lot of cleaners i used up all of my previous one but one of these bottles will make three all-purpose bottles three bathroom bottles three streak free bottles three foaming washes and we'll do 64 loads of laundry for us though it lasts even longer because we don't use the foaming hand wash 
or the streak-free bottle anymore. I just use the bathroom bottle and spray it on the mirrors. So the great part is that it's all completely safe and non-toxic and even better for the environment because you're not having to go out and get a new bottle every time you get more solution. You just have the one bottle of concentrate, which is also recyclable. And then I've used my same bottles for since I got it last year. They've also recently come out with glass bottles. I didn't even know that. So if you are starting now and you like the glass bottles, maybe just grab the plastic bottle of concentrate, the glass bottles, and you will be all set to go. I'm not planning on switching over because my plastic bottles are perfectly fine, but maybe in the future I will do that. So as you refill, one bottle of concentrate costs you $49. So since I just make the bathroom all-purpose and laundry spray, I can typically make four all-purpose four bathroom bottles and one laundry bottle all for $49 so let's compare um, so if I had four bottles of method and all-purpose cleaner that would be $3.29 per $13.60 16 cents. Four bottles of Lysol bathroom cleaner at $3.69 um, is $14.76 total. And then if I did a 72 count of Tide Pods for $18, we're looking at right around $45 to make up all of the same cleaning solutions that one bottle of the concentrate mix. So the price is really comparable, but the impact on the environment not to have to go get all of those bottles plus the convenience <laughs> is incredible. Like I love that I don't have to, like if I run out of my all purpose cleaner, I can just make some more right there in the kitchen instead of having to run to the store and get something else. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, and you know what? If you subscribe, it's actually only $44. So that's even more comparable by price. I love this product and I could not recommend it more. I'll have a link in the description box below. So there you are. Those are some of my favorite product swaps that I actually use every single day and love, love, love. Hopefully that helped answer some of the common questions that I get about those products but if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to put it in the comments below. I will be monitoring that and trying to help you out as best as I can. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. I am working towards 10K by the end of the year. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh. Look at that baby boy.